Hi guys, this is Ay Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about from and off operator in observables. So why these from and off operators are used and what is the purpose of it? Actually speaking, whenever you have some set of data, if you want to convert the data into an observable format, then you can use these operators like from and off operator. So in general, we'll use this from operator for complex data operations. Whereas we'll use off operator for very simple data. For example, you have one, two, three, four, a list of set of data and you have a static data, then you can go with off operator. But if you have some dynamic context and if you have some dynamic data, then you can go with from operator. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code and see how this off and from operators works in our observable in Angular. Here, I want to create some set of data which is like a sample data. Let me go with off observable. We'll try to understand this off observable. This will emit whatever the parameters we are passing. For example, if I pass 10 parameters for this off operator, it will execute 10 times. So let me consider like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are my values. And now let me use a constructor. And inside the constructor, I just want to subscribe to this observable because until unless you subscribe to an observable, you will not get the data. As we learned in our previous video, subscribe is very, very important to receive the data from that particular observable. So let me use this observable with a subscribe and let me get the result. And in this, the result format is a number and let me use a arrow function console.log of, I will just print this result. So result and let me save this. Let me go to the browser. You can see one, two, three, four, five. The values whatever you have here that many times it gets subscribed for example if you have multiple array values for example i'm just using an array for each and every number then how it works it works like it will result you an array format so let me use like this and i'll just use something like number with an array format or i can use something like this save this now for each and every iteration or the subscription, you will be getting one particular value that is array value. Let me go here and you got all the array values. That means whatever you are using or how many parameters you are using inside the off operator, that many times the subscription will be called and you will be getting the data. And mainly this is used for static data. Why? Because you will be getting the subscriptions immediately. and if you see here, we can also give the string values, but they will be separated. For example, in this case, I'll go with S, K and K. So this is my string values. So you'll be getting three values over here. Let me change this type to string and save this. Go here. You can see S as one time and K as two times. So it is triggering total three times. One is S, K, K. So that is how this of will work for us and it is converting all your arguments into an observable pattern and they are subscribed by using this observable. So let me use from. So now what I want to do is I want to convert this or convert a complex data into a from observable is equal to I'll just use something like from operator. See here from operator and off operator are coming from RHCS library. And here just I'll pass something like hello or anything whatever you want. Now I passed with the from operator with a string. So what it does is it will divide this whole string into a parts and then you will be getting the result over here. So for example, it is from observable. This will be executed around six times because this hello string contains six letters. Let me go here and you can see here H E and L is double times O and W. So something like this. So you are able to see all the letters. That means whenever you have a string with one argument, then this from operator will work like this. Let me remove this and let me use something like this. And if you see here, the input, it is not targeting for number of arguments. Instead, it will take only one argument and based on that argument, it will just subscribe to that value and you will be getting the value. Now you can pass even 10, 20 and 30 and 40. So if you see the output over here, you can convert this into a number and save this. Now you can see 10, 20, 30, 40. You are passing only one argument as an array, but it is 
splitting into the values and the subscription values you are getting is like 10 20 30 40 whatever the values you have entered in that from operator argument and this from operators also helps us to subscribe to a promises let me create a promise over here so for example i have a promise and i can create a promise by using a new keyword and this promise will have two callback functions one is resolve and one is reject let me get resolve for now and let me use an arrow function and i'll just use set interval and it will have a callback function and here i'll make it as 2000 milliseconds and every time i'm treating it as resolved state so resolved or just you can use something like a counter if you want but i am going with resolved this is my promise and let me copy this promise and pass it for this from operator so now what we are doing is we are trying to convert our promise into an observable so this is used for converting your promise into an observable and here we are getting a result you can just remove this and use it as any and save this so instead of using this i'll use set timeout and the timeout will be after 2000 milliseconds once this timeout is done then you will be getting this result let me go here and clear this off reload after two seconds you will be getting a resolved state that is coming in the app component and inside your subscription so that is how you can convert any of the logic into an observable by using from and off operators so this helps us whatever the complex data or the simple data or the static data whatever you have you can convert them into an observable by using from and off operator this is how you can work with from and off operator in angular in the upcoming videos i'll show you how we will be using this observable with http calls and we will subscribe to the http calls and we'll get the data from the http services hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off